Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I want to thank my friend from New Jersey for leading this effort and, and for making sure all of our colleagues have the opportunity to stand with our friend Israel while they're at war. And we all know, starting October 7th, Israel was attacked barbarically by one of Iran's proxies, Hamas, a terrorist organization. Uh, they went in, into Israel, murdered barbarically uh, Israelis, took hostages, still to this day have about 130 hostages, including some American citizens. And while this war to eviscerate the terrorist organization known as Hamas is going on, Israel then over the weekend faced an unprecedented attack directly from Iran. So no longer is it the proxies, whether it's Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis, all who are supported by Iran. Now Iran directly attacked with 300 plus drones, missiles, to try to kill more Israelis. And so fortunately, a coalition, of course, Israel, but the United States and other allies joined together to shoot down those missiles and drones. But at the same time, Iran made it clear they wanted to attack Israel directly, which means Israel now is looking at how they properly respond. And during this time, again, a war that started, uh, this idea of a ceasefire, the ceasefire ended when Hamas decided that they were going to go murder Israelis. Israel has a right to self-defense. We have always stood, this Congress, by our friend Israel, our greatest ally in the Middle East, a democracy in the Middle East. But they are always under attack. They've been under attack since their existence. And they know how to defend themselves. But when they respond, whatever choice the people of Israel make through their elected leaders, we need to express our support for that defense. That's Israel's right. If America's attacked, we saw September 11th, there have been other attacks on our homeland, uh, of course, Pearl Harbor. Uh, America responds. And we don't have our allies calling us saying, don't respond. This is a time when the allies of Israel, including the United States, need to support Israel in their right to respond. Call out Iran, as this resolution does, and Mr. kane has been really good, about laying out the case for why we need to condemn Iran and their actions, but we also need to support Israel as they consider their options and how to properly respond to deter this from happening again. It was unwarranted. It shouldn't have happened. We shouldn't just look and say, well, all the missiles and drones were shot down, so, you know, everybody should just look the other way. They will keep trying until they kill innocent civilians. Iran has always sponsored terrorism, and they've gotten away with it. We need to put sanctions back on Iran. They shouldn't be able to sell their oil on world markets, for example. Iran has made up about $60 billion in the last three years selling their oil on world markets. They shouldn't have that access. They use that money to sponsor terrorism. And then now they're using that money directly to attack our friend and our ally, Israel. And while Israel's under attack, now more than ever, we need to be unequivocal in our support for our friend Israel in the right to self-defense. So God bless the people of Israel. We stand with them. This resolution makes it very clear. And I thank again my friend from New Jersey for bringing this important piece of legislation and urge its adoption. Madam Chair, uh, Madam Speaker, I yield back.